Danny Cap asks, how does the five, nine, 14 eyes and other surveillance alliances fit into your personal threat models, specifically the dragnet aspects of it, as I'm assuming none of our threat models include protecting against targeted attacks um, by these threat actors. When using, when considering using a service, how much weight does the jurisdiction in which it operates um, carry? Fun story before we answer this. We've had like three or four new users on the forum in the last week, all named Danny. <laughs> so hmm, I just found that interesting. interesting. Um, <laughs> yeah, but then one said, no, no, it's not me. I swear. Um, <laughs> I, I'll take this one first. Uh, I, I actually really don't follow this at all anymore. I haven't seen reason to think that the 5.9 or 14 eyes really impacts individual services at all. Um, what I do follow is the kind of laws and that each individual country can have. So for example, um, trying to have a privacy service in the US versus having one in Estonia is going to have, just because I'm fam more familiar with Estonia, um, of all the countries outside the US, it's going to have different things that the countries can do when it comes to requiring them to hand over certain information during a law enforcement request. This is actually the debates that we're seeing right now between Proton and Tuda between what can Switzerland compel them to hand over versus Germany, because they're based out of two different countries. And both of them say that they're in very private countries that respect uh, the company's rights to not have to collect certain data about their customers. Um, some countries are notoriously kind of bad for this. Um, and I would say like countries that come to mind are obviously more some of the more... Uh, actually, the U.S. I don't think is fantastic for this. So I'd say the U.S. is on that list of countries that can compel companies to do some naughty things um, i've seen some things about russia china of course and india is also not super strong in this realm either so i personally like to avoid services not avoid it's just like like to be aware that a service that's based out of the u.s could be compelled to do certain things that other countries don't but even that is is dependent on what you're looking for and what you're trying to protect against i don't know if you do something different no, I definitely agree. Uh, I don't have too much to add, really. It's definitely like more important to weigh that kind of legislation in each country rather than like focus on these kind of things. Um, the only other thing I'd point out is that like everything that we know about these surveillance alliances is super old information, and we can't even like really assume that any of it's current or that new alliances like don't already exist in secret that we don't even know about. So. The, the five eyes thing, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, it's maybe useful to think about as a very minor factor in the sense that you have evidence that these countries have collaborated in secret before, but you can't necessarily assume that that's still going on or that like that isn't going on with other countries and that kind of thing. Um, and it's such a small risk, I think, compared to all of the stuff that you brought up that it's not a major determining factor in, in anything that I choose right fully agreed and it takes me back to actual threats versus hypothetical threats you know there already is an actual threat and we see it all the time of services that are compelled to hand over data they don't want to hand over and that's a much more likely thing for you to be impacted by by some i think more generic fear of some dragnet thing going on in the background where what the same information is like it's the same issue but in a much more vague broad mysterious way i would say um because mm -hmm. I, I haven't heard anyone actually come forward and describe what exactly this 5914 ice things would necessarily look like or do like i, I assume there's a, like oh they're they're like sending each other all the information they have about each other constantly about every user every comp but like i just haven't had someone actually articulate what this looks like and i feel like it's a lot of just speculation so i'm not saying it's not real I'm not saying it's not something to look at but I, I'm not personally looking at it anymore.